All right, today I'd like to show you how to play the first part of The Entertainer. This is a kind of a complex song, definitely going to be a multi-video um, tutorial. So I just want to start by giving you the really quick intro so you can get working on it while I'm working on it. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time to get it all out, but uh, I hope to get it out soon. So the thing that I want to point out to you for this intro is just two like little, uh, like the same pattern that's repeated twice, but you start in a different note. So it's like... You start with a note and then you go above that note and, and below that note. That's the pattern. And you, so the two notes that you start on before you start to complete that pattern is D and then uh, A. Da -na 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 -na. Except instead of doing da -da -da, da -na -na, you're going to do it nice and smooth. Da -na -da 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 -da. I'm going to leave it to your ears to hear the rhythm. Uh, it's not exactly one and two, three and four. It's uh, and a hold that A and, and go. All right. So that pattern, you're going to the way you play the intro is you're going to play that exact pattern, um, and you're going to play it in octaves. So hard to play with my fingers out of the way, but that's to show you. You're going to play it in octaves, and you're going to start much higher in the keyboard. I'm showing it down here so that it's on the camera, but. Um, you're going to start with your right hand, so imagine this is high. I'll show you what it sounds like, so you're only going to be able to hear for now. So that first thing, I'm basically playing this, except much higher. Okay, and with my fingers in here, so I can actually do it. Okay, and then what you're going to do after you play that pattern once, you're going to jump down, basically to the next octave down. So I don't know if this is on the camera or not, but... And you're gonna repeat it so so technically in the music they have the right hand only playing up those double uh, octaves for the first one so here's my left hand not involved in that first one right that's up there and the second one the music wants you to play uh, each octave with one hand so I'll be down another octave okay and then the very ending part It's a little bit different for the ending part. It's almost the same. It starts the same. So you've still got D, E, C, A. First four notes are the same. In fact, the first five notes are, but it's a little different. So then you go from this B to a, like a walk down to the G. B, A, A flat, G. Actually, you know what? Let me get the exact music so I don't... Yeah. Yep, that's it, okay? So let me show you one more time what it sounds like and then I'll let you go practice. Oh God, let me start over. And I need to show you that little last little ending. Bam! So the way, I'll show it to you a little bit lower because I just want to make sure it's on the camera, but in your right hand, you're playing a, a G chord, basically G, uh, B, D, and G, but you're playing it an octave higher, so right here, above middle C, the, in, starting with the G that's above middle C. All right, and in your left hand, you're playing octave Gs nice and low, not, yeah, like the lowest two octaves you can play. Uh, yeah, and we'll leave it from there. There is a little pickup, but... Whatever, we'll get to that part later. So just for now, see if you can practice the intro. If you can get that much, you'll be in good shape to get the rest of it. Um, thing to note here is that the music isn't written to be necessarily fast. And there's a lot of moving parts, so there's lots of uh, ways that you can make errors during the song. So you don't have to play it fast. A lot of people like to play this song fast because they feel like it sounds good that way. But I would say recommend practicing it slowly, and if you really want to play it fast, as you practice, you can pick up the speed. All right, so that's the first part, Entertainer Part 1. I'll be doing my best to get these out as often as I can, as I can learn them while I have time. Uh, but I really hope this tutorial helped you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.